Hello, I am so glad you're joining me for Coaching Moments with Leah. Today's question comes from someone who is concerned about their legacy, about what people will think about them after they die, or even now. And so this is a prime Coaching Moments with Leah question for me because if you have been around me very long, you know that the topic of legacy is really my jam. It was the topic of my first published Bible study, Legacy. And so I'm excited to answer this question. Um, so what I want to do is just kind of take you through a few questions to help you do a diagnostic checkup about your legacy. Because many, many people do not think about their legacy um, in a very intentional sort of way. We're all leaving a legacy. It's just a matter of what kind of legacy we're leaving. Are we leaving um, an intentional, godly legacy, or are we just happening through life and whatever happens, happens? So there are three key areas of your legacy that I want us to think about today. Because if you want to leave a godly legacy, these are crucial areas, according to Scripture, that you need to consider. So the areas are faith, character, and holiness. So here are some diagnostic questions under the category of faith. And I want you to think about these and answer them for yourself. So the first question is, how strong is your faith? Really, how strong is it? When tough times come along, is your faith strong or does it buckle? The next question is, what kind of God do you serve? Now, there's a Sunday school answer for this, but that's not what we want. We want the heart. So do you really believe God is strong and mighty? Or do, you, um, do your actions show that you don't believe that? Um, and that's the third question. What do your actions and words tell other people about your faith and the God that you serve? Okay, on to the second category of character. So some diagnostic questions, and this is where I'm going to step on your toes, but trust me, God stepped on mine first and very hard. Are your words kind and gracious? Do you gossip about others or slander people? Do you make fun of people? Are you trustworthy with confidences? Do you tell the truth? And are your social media posts, if you're active on social media, are your social media posts consistent with your faith? Because social media posts are not anonymous, even though some of the things people say there kind of make you think that they think, oh, well, nobody's going to know exactly who this is, but they do. So the third category is our holiness. As Christ followers, we are called to be holy because God is holy. So here are some questions, and again, better pick up your toes because I may step on them. Do you give the proper reverence to God? He is not the man upstairs. He is not the big guy up in the sky. He is a holy, righteous, set-apart God. Second question and this is one that we see problems with inside the church and outside of the church. Do you dress modestly? Big, big deal. Third, do you avoid being alone with someone of the opposite sex who is not your husband? Every time I speak and, and share the legacy message, this is the one question that I get the most pushback on. Because in today's working world, it's very hard for people of the opposite sex sometimes to not be um, alone together. But it can be done, and it's so very important. Um, you may not have um, sinful intentions, neither may the other person, but Satan has sinful intentions for you. So just be very careful with this. Y'all, a godly legacy does not just happen. It's not going to just magically appear for you or for anyone. It requires thoughtful intentionality to make godly choices so that those who circle around your life and those who come after you can say she or he truly left a godly legacy. 
So that's it for today with Coaching Moments for Le with Leah. If you have a question about life, relationships, faith, finances, send it to me at L Adams Ministries. L Adams Ministries at gmail.com. I would love to answer your question and feature it here. Hope you have a great weekend, friends, and I'll see you again next week.